to play the black cat, shall we? What would Halloween be without a little black cat? Not much of one at all. Okay, so we want to take black, female black, by Formula P3. I will mix this up with deep blue, and we will add quite a lot of water in there to create somewhat of a wash. And then we'll wash this over the cat. The idea is to define the shadows, darken it all down, and uh, we'll be using very, uh, I guess, Halloween-y colours for this because I want the, whatever these things are called, to be or, um, orange. So we're using, <laughs> we're painting a black cat using orange and black. I wonder how many times I can say black during this tutorial. Okay, we'll come back once that's dry. I can click. Next up, I have added some Nakar from Scale 75 into the black and blue mix to create this light grey. Yay thin. I'll apply this over the top of the muscle structure of our very unusual looking cat. <clears throat> Before this dries, we'll be taking pure black. And let's add a pinch of deep red in there as well, again from scale 75 to create a warm black. And we will wet blend this together. Before that's dried, I think we can even take some Nakar and dot the rough outline of the fur. Most of this will bleed into the colour as it dries, so don't worry if it looks a little bit aggressive. right now. Let's extend this out for the tail. At the moment we're working very very loosely, very very rough. Here we're going to allow that to dry then we'll add some orange, hot orange from Vallejo. <clears throat> it's worked in between the spines. And we'll be also adding The black plus deep red mixture to create a fade. Now by dragging the colour up we can create a really nice blend and we're working it while the colour is still wet. So this is a wet blend. Dragging the colour up, drag it down There you go, we have the structure in place. We could do the same again with the veins here. Next up, let's define <clears throat> the shadows a little bit more. Okay, let's go down the brush size, let's go to the Rose Marine Co. 3.0. I want to use the warmer of the blacks. And with the tip of the brush, I'll be adding lots and lots and lots of little spikes. This builds up the first texture of the fur. We need to keep this in context with the uh, with the lines that we see in the miniature, with the <clears throat> with the sculpt, with the muscle structure. So it is worth having a picture of a cat, or even better, having a cat in front of you, if you care to stay still. And you can 
build up the muscle structure. Now this is painting. Uh, I'm painting this for my old cat Oscar, who unfortunately was run over. Uh, and he was black as all hell. I loved him to bits. So this is Oscar in the future. Into our black plus blue mixture, we take a pinch of Nakar and a pinch of Ice Yellow to create this very light, warm grey. And again, we are using little movements with the tip of the brush to reinforce that line of light we've developed. With our previous highlight, we can pick out things like the ribs. Uh, and the muscle structure. Okay, to highlight this, we take even more ice yellow to create a very, very light color. Now, we aren't being too consistent with the highlight. We don't want it across the entirety of the thing. Instead, the odd hair will flick up here and there that you want to capture. So this is all done with very light pressure using the tip of the brush. My cat had these big green eyes, so that's what I'm going to give this cat as well. Nice big green eyes. So Boreal Tree Green, tip of the brush. So you need to fade those in there, and then Sol Yellow, tip of the brush. For the eye. Perfecto. Okay, for the teeth. Let's grab English Uniform from Vallejo, drag the brush to nice sharp point, tip of the brush we want to drag it down to create those barbed teeth. And then we take ice yellow, because we're working in such a small area that's completely out of focus. We want to just add one specular highlight to the top, to each of the teeth. Anything more. I mean, you could certainly detail it more, but it would be very laborious. 
and it would um, wouldn't really add anything more than what we currently have. Okie dokie, let's do the collar. Now, <laughs> my cat, um, he, we used to buy him collars every five, six months or so. And on the day we bought them, he'd wriggle his way uh, through a bush uh, to be lost. So I'm going to give this a nice big metal spike here. I don't think he would have liked to have this on. I don't think he would have stood still long enough for us to put this on. A nice big metallic spiky collar. It's completely out of focus again. Phenomenal. wonder whether I'll be able to even use this video. Okay, I'm going to take some Peridot Alchemy that hasn't quite set yet. And then I'll add this to the little tips of the collar. That's it. We have our cat for Halloween. Oscar the cat. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next Halloween video.